I know what y'all are thinking. Austin, you got to do better at filming some of this excitement around the shop, and I know. I am the world's worst YouTuber, hands down, because I get in here, I get to work, and then I don't get to film it. But, gentlemen, we, we went a little too far. Uh, the bed is gone, and it ain't coming back. <laughs> it's gone, gone. So, what we did this past Sunday, as you can see, is we cut the bed out of uh, skid mark here. Now, look, there is no law that says you have to have your bed, the whole bed. No law. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's still a street truck. It just doesn't have a, doesn't have a center of a bed. It's got the bed rails. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> but guys, today's video, we're gonna be working back on skid mark here. Uh, we got the bed cut out this past weekend and some of the fuel lines running. You see our beautiful fuel cell chilling right there. Um, shout out to Logan coming and helping us with the uh, fuel lines. I got fittings coming so we can get the pump hooked up and everything. And I got to run the return tomorrow when I get some more AN lines in here. But the reason I cut the bed out um, is for the weight savings. And yes, we did lose weight over the rear axle, but this back, this right here was a big chunk of weight that really wasn't gonna help the traction at all. So we got the fuel cell all the way back here. We've got plans to fix the traction situation. I'm gonna show you that here in just a minute. But this is pretty cool. Today I'm gonna edge this thing up because I went at it with a Sawzall and got the majority of this done. M hey, M18 Milwaukee and them Diablo blades made short work of this old bed right here. I tell you what, it was pretty impressive. So I'm gonna edge this out. We got Chris out here with me today. We've got a whole bunch of just like nitpicky stuff that we're gonna work on because we've got big parts coming tomorrow and Thursday, which are like wastegate blow off um, and some other little things. But let me take you up to the front and show you guys where we're at on the engine. We should, should have bought like one of those swim ladders or something to get up out of this thing and go to work on. And I mean, Lord almighty, climb up out of that thing like a kiddie pool. All right, y'all come on up in here and check out what we got going on under the engine. Woo! That's a 5.3. All hooked up, man. We've got it. Get, it's getting there. We are really getting there, boys. I tell you, we have got the Holly hooked up to everything here on the engine. I got to hook up. We got to hook up the injectors today. I got the injector adapters. Good old sniper hanging out here. Good old Hiroshima hair dryer sitting pretty. Uh, wastegate and blow off are coming here. I'm gonna try to run in their cooler pipe today. Got the radiator with me. I'm gonna put the radiator back in. Uh, rest in peace to the one that met its demise at Cleus and Cars last year. Fuel regulator. Chilling up in there. Looks good. Looks good. Um, just cleaning things up. Oh, I, I, I know. I got sidetracked. You guys are talking about traction. I know what you think. Mickey Thompson ET Streets for your delight. Let's see. On a 17. I wish I could have done a 15, but you gotta do a whole bunch of brake modifications to get 15s to work on there. So, Facebook Market Specials, brand new. Was a, uh, came off of somebody's bill the day getting to finish to the coronavirus. It's unfortunate, but their loss, our game. These are gonna go on skid mark onto some 17 inch spares we have around the shop. And uh, on top of that, I wanna put track bars on it and hopefully help out the traction a good bit. So, what we're gonna do today like I said, I'm gonna finish up cutting out the bed. We're gonna get the injectors hooked up. We're gonna put the radiator back in here. Um, I gotta have a special line made for the oil feed. This one isn't gonna work. So I gotta take some stuff back into town and have a place make me some. But we're gonna just kind of, any little thing we can get done today, tonight, that just gets us a little bit further along, that we don't have to do Wednesday and Thursday when we get big parts in here, we're gonna do so without further ado let's go ahead and get started all righty gentlemen it is another day and i got the playing jingo with the old intercooler pipe here and dang if it didn't mock up oh my goodness so we gotta clock the turbo up to get this straight piece connected but it runs down and underneath right here same story down and underneath we're definitely gonna have to run the slim fans again but that's okay 
You see where it comes up right there? I've got the boot that reduces the throttle body, four inch throttle body down to the three inch pipe. It goes down and over. And that little center section right there that's missing, I've got it coming tomorrow and it's the it's got the hole for the uh, blow off valve. So it is literally perfect. I just kind of, I just guess, I put the <laughs> intercooler front center and went, well, we'll see what happens and see if it if it lines up and sure as crap if it did not line up he he asked me he said black or silver intercooler pipe and i said or no he just guessed because i wanted black because i ruin anything that's chrome because i'm so dirty yeah we don't but, do chrome yeah. on this truck because <laughs> anything it's chrome like that right there that'll be destroyed yeah <laughs> that, <laughs> that's why we don't have a uh, chrome intake because <laughs> yeah. i will destroy it <laughs> yep uh so that's on there i got the wastegate over here we're getting ready to play with that and bolt that on but i've got to wait until i get the boots to reduce it down tomorrow before i can like clamp it all on and make sure that you know we're, we're good on that i do have the brackets bolted on underneath for this intercooler but i think i'm going to get a bracket to bolt it into the radiator support of the latch support off of these right here i'm definitely going to make something to bolt into that to make sure it ain't moving at all while we're going down the road so but we're getting closer and closer and closer so uh i showed them the bed yesterday when you were oh, down here sweet, chris yeah. and i were down here yeah so today we're gonna run some more wires on the holly um we may make some more an lines and run some more of those and we'll just keep on moving forward well, there she is, boys. Skid Marks 4L80E. That's right. <laughs> Trying to keep faced away from the outside there because that's in the next video. What's outside? Don't want to accidentally show that. But today we are putting the 4L80 back in Skid Mark. We got our good old Circle D converter here. I got to pull this thing out and put some fluid in her and uh get her put up in that 4l80 that's the 3200 3400 stall converter um we got oh sorry trying to figure out what part of the shop we pulled the trans in and find the bolt oh we found the majority of his stuff's here yeah i know but it should be there's one i see one right there the awesome bolt. Yeah. yeah so where well we'll find them eventually but skid is really coming along um the next step we now we got this back is definitely get this trans in get the drive shaft in and finish hooking up the holly um today's goal is to put the trans in whole drive line so gotta get the i just realized that, that drive shaft ain't going in today no it's missing a cap off oh, of it yeah, yeah anyway once we do that, like I said, get the holly hooked up. Uh, the rest of the fuel lines, maybe Logan will come down and give us a hand on the A lines because I suck at doing it. Um, we'll be pretty far. We'll be really close. We've got, today is Sunday. Uh, this truck needs to run by Saturday. So we have six days. And really, it has to be done Friday because there's a big cookout down here at the shop <laughs> on Saturday. So uh, we're gonna be busy getting the shop cleared up. A um, couple times a year, we have everybody that we race with. Some, sometimes you guys see them at events and stuff like that, they come down. We throw a big old cookout. Um, we're doing kind of a little bit of a show and tell on the new big gigantic addition to this channel, which I'm staring at right now. You guys are gonna see in the next video. I promised you guys there was a massive purchase. Um, and that's for why we have been, you know, away from doing YouTube videos and stuff like that. So you're going to see that in the next video, but we got to get skid mark done. Basically we have five days, more or less. Uh, everything's here. I think with the exception of like a boost gauge and an oil feed, a turbo feed line, um, I got a local shop that's going to make the feed line and Amazon will help us out with the, <laughs> with the boost gauge. So that's not, not too worried about that. So we got a lot to do today um got to get the poor man's drag pack set up this week too. get the mickey thompson's on and stuff like that so it's just a whole lot of little stuff once we get this trans in it is legitimately just a whole bunch of little stuff that's uh finishing us up but you know what i say the last 10 percent of a bill takes 90 percent of the time and uh so that's where we're at so let's get started all righty gentlemen transmission's ready uh it took us a minute to fill the converter up so yeah. <laughs> i was doing other things like 
fuel lines and stuff on skids. So circle D converters in there. Now these little fittings right here are new. This converts the uh, regular GM lines over to AN lines. Reason being is uh, tomorrow, the, I think it's like D-Rail is the brand, but it's a trans cooler that has a fan built onto it. So it's remote mount trans cooler. It's gonna go in the bed. It's gonna have its own cooling fan so the trans will stay cool no matter what, whether we're sitting in a burnout box or sitting in traffic or whatever we're doing racing, it's always gonna stay cool. So these fittings allow you to adapt it. Now, don't just go buy a generic fitting. These are from ICT Billet. Um, this one right here, and I should show you before we put it in there, it has like a longer shank on it because it gets, it's gotta get into the planetary back here. And if you don't put that fitting in the, in the right spot, if you try to put it up here or whatever, um, you'll end up blowing the trans up and it'll just be, be bad news. So, she's locked and loaded. Um, you ready to put it under the truck? No. I know. We won't. F we won't film another freaking skid mark transmission folly. Yeah, we went to go get a transmission jack, which is like the, the safer move after Chris has lost his life the other day. But of course, they have none in stock, and we gotta get this done. So, Chris, good luck. Damn it, Chris. Yeah. Look, I want you to just point okay, Chris, this way. Chris, I can't show them that because the you-know-what is outside. They don't know Wait, 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 wait. Here, can we do this? Can we do this right here? Oh. <laughs> I just have to get a general idea. Psych! Can't look that way. All right. All right, let's get the strains in. <laughs> All righty, ladies and gentlemen. It is a new night, and let me tell you, it's so close. Like, I am... Um, beyond excited the intercooler pipes completely run clamped up when you sit here you know it's close you got the charge pipe wastegate turbo all your fuel lines regulator um austin's working on fuel pump wiring right now it's done yep okay is it done well i just gotta got put the the ends and got the ground. ground uh the fuel system is pretty much 100 done actually it is 100 done all the lines are run um down on this frame rail got our exhaust on this side fuels hanging out over here to be safe uh trans is in drive shafts in literally if i wire up that fuel pump yeah i hook the trans up you could potentially start it yeah like literally it'll start or the what do you mean by hook the trans up the hardest still isn't plugged into oh, the trans oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah which that's three plugs uh here's the trans cooler while wow, austin's going to run up the road i'm going to try to finish this uh we got the nice derail uh trans cooler so it comes with its mounts like you see right here 16 pass cooler and the fan all made into one this is a motion race work special right here um they carry yeah i think you can even get them on jags and stuff like that so that's gonna keep it nice and cool especially with that big stall converter and stuff this year when we're doing these uh, car shows and stuff like that if we're sitting in traffic you know sitting waiting trying to get out of an event or into an event I want to make sure that trans is staying cool. You know, I don't want that converter slipping and stuff. I don't want to create a lot of heat and fry that trans. So uh, we've got that. Uh, it's going to get mounted. I'm not entirely sure right now. Because um, I can't, I can't really, if it, if it have to be in an angle for me to mount it here so we can get air under it. So I'm going to have to figure something out. That's what I'm going to work on right now is trying to figure out how to mount the trans cooler in a way that will get air under it so it's doing its proper cooling. So that's gonna be the next project here. Once we get that done, uh, we'll fill you in. But boys, she is close, 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 and we're cutting it close. It's, what is today, Tuesday? Yeah, it's Tuesday. And gotta be done by Friday because we got Freedom 500 over at Chris's house. We gotta watch on Friday. Wish we could have made it down to Florida, but whew, God, I'm glad we didn't say we were going to Florida because, boy, ain't nothing done. Chris is getting a new manifold on his yep. moose thing here. He's got to be fast for this weekend, too. Not, not skid fast, but we'll uh, we'll be the uh, full bulk on E85 by this weekend. Equally as fast as skid at the end of last season. So, I mean, you're doing – what are you going to gain? Probably 50? About course? 50. Yeah, so the on the dyno, the 2018 manifold picked up 30 horsepower on 11 to 14 or Gen 1 Coyote. And then naturally aspirated E85 is picking up around 15 to 20. And that's wheel? Yeah, that's yeah, wheel. That's a lot. So, I mean, 50 wheel is big is big time because you're talking every bit of 75, 80 at the crank gain. So, he's going to feel that. He's going to be significantly faster than he was last year. 
So everybody's stepping up their game. It's exciting. Looking forward to Saturday night. I really am. I really hope this project comes together and we can take skid mark out. So I'm going to get back to work. All righty, gentlemen. I think uh, tonight is starting night. I think we're going to close this video out here because we've got quite the time piled up. But, dude, skid. Skid's done. <clears throat> Almost. Well, yeah. I mean, you, you could tell everything's back in here. Drive line's in, uh, wired up, just put some fresh gas in her, and she's ready to rock and roll. So uh, hopefully in the next video, we could start this thing <laughs> up. I'm, I'm excited. It's going to start tonight, hopefully. Uh, and that's going to be on the next video. So I appreciate you guys watching, as always. Epic things to come. Glad to be back at work down here at the shop. You got something to say, Austin? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Stop stealing parts off. We've uh, <laughs> y'all did not see anything. We worked super hard on this thing. Uh, we've been busting our butt for the past couple weeks, trying to get it done for y'all for this race season. Um, Chris, the things are over there. You left them on toolbox. Check out the next video. Hopefully, it's running. Uh, fingers crossed. I think it's gonna fire right up. But stay tuned. Check out the next video, Chris. <clears throat> Hopefully, it doesn't do too much damage. <laughs> Take care. Have a great day.